What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ken Iron here. Boy, have we got some exciting stuff to get into today, let me tell ya. Rooster Teeth, right? They uh they haven't had the best track record as of late, but they just dropped a new trailer for Red vs. Blue. Supposedly it's the final season. We'll see. It probably is. Honestly, I could see it with all the trouble it's taken to, to get to this point and the mess it's been through for the past few years, I feel like it's been a bumpy ride for a little bit, but let's see what the trailer has to offer. Goodness, that's loud. Okay, so we're, we're starting off end of season 13, right? That's where my personal headcanon stops. So they retcon 15 through 18, and I guess parts of 14, or I, I'm not really sure. That's kind of a gray area. Don't really know where that one stands. Those seasons weren't that great. I, I've actually heard the theory out there, like I've looked in comments and stuff. There's been people out there that have said, you know, Maybe it's just church running simulations before he dies and all that, yada, yada, yada. What's really cool and what we're gonna see here in just a minute is that they actually go with that. It's kind of strange. You don't usually see them go for uh, fan theories or anything like that. Maybe they're listening to us. Anyway, let's continue this. We'll never get through this if I keep talking. Okay, uh, let's move that, back it up, and then run it again with these parameters. Acknowledged. So that's, uh, Theta. He, uh, he sounds different. Like, listen, he sounds really back it different. Back up, and then run it again with these parameters. Acknowledged. Theta. And then this pops up. I was actually really surprised about this. Because I thought when he told Tex that I forget you back in season nine, spoilers by the way, um, it's been out for a while. I felt like that kind of concluded that. So I felt like it was a strange choice to bring this back up here, but I do think there's a reason for it. I have to go. Put that away. Sorry. Also, I do wanna, ooh, look at Gamma. He looks like Mr. Manhattan. <laughs> You've been going to the gym, bro. I see you. I will say, though, I really like the animation, at least uh, Church's animation. It looks really clean so far. So you see a lot of seasons playing in the background. Um, a lot of them particularly are the newer seasons to reinforce that they were uh, his simulations. And then the rest are just kind of like his memories, I suppose. Give me simulation Indigo 7-4, but add in 30% personnel loss. And then run it recursively up to 90% in whole units. On it. God, that's loud. Hold up. He clasps his hands, right? He just says, he does some Naruto shit. He's like, Pff. and then copies of himself start spreading around. Bro, bro. This is interesting. I didn't see this before. Um, the shadow over here. I uh, I didn't catch like I didn't really see it forming when I watched the trailer uh, the first time through. Pretty sure you're doing that, boss. <sighs> so who is that? I I feel like the the easiest guess would be uh, Omega or at least a, a fragment of him. It could be something else. I feel like that's the uh, nostalgic route. I feel like that would be the safest route to go. But I think it would also be cool to see like something new or like a new form of something. But we'll get more into it. You? When did you get a new voice? Or when you did? Cause see, he has a new voice. So obviously it's somebody from the past, right? Give me one, I suppose. Maybe in one of your simulations. Yeah. That also, he says, maybe in one of your simulations. So that also suggests that it could be somebody, like it's probably somebody who's really prevalent in those um, simulations. So somebody who keeps reappearing, but I don't know who that would be. 
Well, I don't like it. It doesn't sound right. Oh, I agree, but... See, look at this. That's where you get the best image. Like, who is that? I agree, but here we are. You ever wonder about that? <laughs> why we're here? And then the classic callback, you ever wonder why we're here? He just says it kind of differently, which it's kind of like an uncanny valley type of thing. They reference that joke quite a few times in the show, but they always say it pretty much about the same. And so like him to kind of twist the wording of it like that, I think is supposed to be a little bit unsettling. I, I think there's reason for him saying it the way he did. God, leave me alone. Oh, I know why I'm here. I have a goal, a purpose, to restore what once was great. See, I don't know what helmet that would be. And make it great again. The Alpha. See, so is that the Alpha trying to take form? Because he has so many fragments of himself that like, an alpha kind of is created through that. I don't know. That it's kind of it's wild. Maybe the alpha is the bad guy, or he just wants to recreate the alpha. So maybe it's like, I don't know, the director. Probably still just Omega. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm just theory crafting. Just spitballing. These are crackhead, crackpot theories. I just need to prepare them. If they're going to survive this, they need to be ready for what's next. What like this? See, now he's calling out, uh, specifically Zero. He's like, you think this is possible? Which is kind of funny because people hated Zero. Uh, it just looked kind of cool, I guess. You really think this is possible? Well, that one's just cool. You know what? Maybe try not being an asshole for once. If I can just run enough simulations, I can- Ah, oh, you've already run millions. See, it looks like he has maybe not an EVA helmet, but like one that looks almost similar. Yeah. So, I don't know. You've it's already run so millions. If I just run enough, I can get them ready. No, you can't think of everything. You can't think it perfect. I can get better. I hated that cyclone. Someone once told me, better can be good enough. And I have time. Time means something different to me now. He says time means something different to me now. I want to get into this because... I feel like a really great way to go about this, right, is to say that the simulations of seasons uh, 15, 16, and 17, and even 18, they all helped Church learn something. So we've already seen time distortion in Red versus Blue. And then we saw like what is now considered a simulation of like breaking time and everything. So maybe that was him trying to calculate out a problem through a simulation. That's what I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, because it's called restoration, right? If you're restoring something, you're trying to bring it back as close as you can to its original form. I'm thinking he learns some kind of time dilation shit like Gamma had with Wyoming, and he uses that to kind of fix as much as he can. That's just theory crafting. I don't actually know what's going on in this season. That's... But you're forgetting something, aren't you? Oh, you can feel it, something right at the edges of your mind. A lost memory. Oh, and like you always say... Memory is the key. Oh, and you've run so many of these simulations. And yet what have you learned? That I have to do what I'm about to do. But if I do it... We always end up in the same place. That's right. And that's where I'll be. <laughs> that is where we will be. At the end. It can work. I know it can work. Faith. I just have to have faith. It'll work. But I guess I'll never know. Ain't that a bitch. Okay, so call back to the uh, 
monologue at the end of season 13, the very, it's a tearjerker. It's pretty bad, or in a good way, you know, it, it gets you emotional. So it is hot to stay hydrated. <laughs> The only other reason I say like the time dilation thing is because we do see Gamma first. Like he's, or is it Theta first? But we do see Gamma in there. Yeah, Theta's first. And then Gamma? I have to go. Put that away. Sorry. Yeah. But Gamma is specifically shown. Um, they didn't show every fragment. They showed a, a decent amount of them. So I might be reaching on this one. But that, that lends me to believe, like, the time dilation thing. It, in some degree, I do feel like he has a plan. Another thing I want to mention, though, I think some of the main cast is, is going to get killed in this. Um, namely, Caboose. Just because, like, his actor, his voice actor, his original voice actor, kind of left. Uh, I don't think people have really warmed up too terribly much to his uh new voice actor he's not bad i mean don't get me wrong he, he he's a pretty decent voice actor it's just kind of more of a slightly like almost uncanny valley uh whenever you hear him so i understand why people kind of don't like it oh we haven't got to the, the big ain't thing. that a bitch <laughs> let's run one more Duration. You hear the the guitar strums. <laughs> I don't know how to play guitar. Don't let me fool you. Okay, so here's the big kicker. Uh, so written by Bernie Burns. How in the hell did they convince Bernie to come back? He probably felt like he should do the series justice after you know they kind of mucked it up a little bit. I don't know, that is just wild to me that he came back. Super excited for that. I'm still a little skeptical, you know. Right now, I'm not seeing anything that makes me think that this will be like a great season, but I, I think it'll at least be pretty decent. And I think Bernie knows how to write uh, a season with a lot of closure. Like he knows how to write like the end of a series. He's done it at least three times. Probably. So it's written by Bernie, directed by Matt. I mean, it'll be nice if they could get uh, Caboose's voice actor back, but I don't think it's happening. I feel like there's another cast member that's missing and I just can't place it, but maybe not. Is Tucker's voice actor still around? Yeah, he was in Zero, but it doesn't matter. I'm excited. I don't know what's going on exactly behind the scenes. I'm still skeptical on how it's going to go. I really do hope it ends here though. And I hope it ends on a, on a pretty solid note too. Like I'm not expecting season 10 levels of like magnificence, but we will see what happens. If you like my uh, theory crafting, you know, my spitballing, let me know. Let me know down below what you think. What do you think is going to happen in this season? And uh, check out my Red vs. Blue music videos. <sighs> uh, can't go wrong. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video. That's the best way to let me know that, you know, you want to see more. All right, I will see you guys later. Peace.